Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to install creative menu into a PAL world game. So I use Xbox Game Pass, but it will be the same basically for Steam. So first of all, you want to go to the browser and go to nexus.mods and find creative menu. Now, once you will click manual download, you will see all of these. And once you click manual download, for example, for Game Pass or for Steam, whichever you're using, um, you will see that you need UE4SS to be downloaded already and installed into your PC. So you want to go ahead and click right there and you will be redirected to the GitHub. Then you're going to scroll down and click on this zip folder. Now it will download to your PC and you will see it right there. You need to install it now. Uh, so to install it, you want to go and open up your um, PAL world location. So for Xbox, it would be on files, browse, uh, it will be the same on Steam. It's just a little bit different. Now you will click on uh, PAL World, then Content, then PAL, uh, Binaries, and you probably will see Win64 if you are on Steam. I see WinGDK, but basically this is where the game is. What you need to do is copy the game directory at the top. Then you want to go ahead and click on this UE4SS folder and click extract all after that you will see this and you need to enter the destination we just copied so right there then click extract now it will extract it right there and now you have this installed already what we need to do is now uh, download creative menu so go back to nexus mods and then just click download and download the nexus um, creative menu once you have downloaded creative menu, now you want to open these settings. Uh, so just open it in a notepad, just like so. And after this, you want to navigate to use uh, object array catch and you want to make it to false. And just go ahead and save it. After that, you want to unzip this. Now, once we have unzip it, as you can see, we have pal. So now you need to navigate to the root of uh, game directory. So it would be on content and here it is. This is the root. You want to go ahead and drag the PAL folder right there to content and just click replace. And that's it. Now, in order to open up the creative menu, we want to launch the game and press F1. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.